this is typically what you'll see um, when you've got the software. Um, I, don't, I think you may see some of this even if you don't have the software, but basically what happens is you get a feed and these are kind of just telling me recently uh, some of the books that, um, now what happens here is these are books coming up later. So I, I did his bestseller launch like, I don't know, six months ago, a year ago. And you're but still, he's still getting copying bestsellers every so often. Yeah. So I get alerted when that happens. So ongoing. I have a library. I get, I get, a, I get periodically get, you know, yeah. an alert from something that yeah. randomly pops back into number one or whatever. And typically you can tell when a customer's doing a bit of a promo because I know that this guy here has been doing a lot of talking lately and I've noticed him on Facebook. So suddenly his sales have gone up because he's been driving traffic to Amazon. Yeah. So you actually can spy on what the clients are up to. Oh, geez, they must be doing a bit of a promo right now. So you can kind of see that. So let's just have a look at campaigns here. So here's what we're going to do. And we're showing you the flow of adding a book and doing research. Yep. Right, John? Yep. All right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to kind of do what they call the Tarantino. I'm going to show you the net result of what happens. because I Wait, can't wait, 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 wait. You published Tony Robbins' book? You yeah, did, yeah, I did. You did no. Tony Robbins' launch? <laughs> no, I no. had no idea. There you go. I'm so famous, right? So I did this this morning, just a bit of spy, right, to see what's going on. So... Um, what we did here is we go, okay, what's Tony Robbins got in categories? And it's pretty bad, right? Yeah. He's got two categories, right? He's got personal finance and motivation. Pretty good categories. Very competitive. Yeah, right? but he's in two out of 10 available categories. He's, he's big in Canada. He's his got B three in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> right, and his BSR is only 22,000. And nothing in Australia. So basically, you know, this is a typical result you see, right? Um and so the other day, what I did is I, I saw a book come through um, the, the Tony Robbins. Oh, she's kind of like part of the Tony Robbins inner circle kind of thing, I think. And so I've seen her around a little bit on Facebook and said, oh, she just launched a book, right? So I'll just have a little spy on her. And, she, and I got in a little late because she'd already got a bestseller. So I think she got one or two or something like that, right? Um, so I had a look down there. She did get a hot new release when I put it up Much there. better on the category. Yeah, much better on the categories, but not great, right? So they're 382, 120, 120, they're going to get you nothing, right? Mm -hmm. 387, not too bad. 5650, not too bad. Not going to get you much. Well, we'll okay, and John, so let's, let's do this real quick. Before you go too far, let's let people know what they're seeing on this page, mm. okay? So what it's done, the API's reached into Amazon. It has pulled the categories in which this book lives, and yep. it has found, it lists out on the right-hand column is all those categories the full mm. string, and that's copy and pasteable if for any reason you need to do that and just drag across it. Then in the middle column under bestseller is the current number one book in each one of those categories and their bestseller rank. So the top mm. one is the coddling of the American something and that's ranked 382. Um, and then on the left-hand side is when the API was updated. Um, and active signifies that it really is in this category versus mm -hmm. the categories that we select and yep. request until they're active, they won't show at it. That mm -hmm. little active thing won't be there. So how, how nice is it be able to just immediately see all the number one best selling books in these categories and their ranks without having to do about 4 million clicks to accomplish that. Uh, and and so the other thing too, when you think about this too, is that if you're prospecting for a client, I mean, the best money you can make is doing best seller campaigns to be honest, really. It's Agreed. easy money, particularly with the software, right? It's easy money. Um, so at the end of the day, you can actually look at someone's book and say, hey, look, we'll just have a little look at your book. And, get, and so you're telling them stuff they have no idea that you knew about, right? And, and, and the interesting here, when you look at what she's done here, she must have got a bit desperate with these categories or something because they're pretty weird categories. Like she's picked aging. Um, and, and not winnable, right? Not winnable um, anyway. It's, um, and it's one thing to go off on a bit of a slant if you think it's winnable, but here it's yeah, a slant and not, not winnable. So there's a lot of things there that were kind of a bit weird. So, but that's a typical, but to me, I'll say, I don't have a look at a typical kind of person that kind of knows what they seems to know what they're doing. The, the woman that I know that helped her kind of knows what she's doing. She's done quite a few books. She's kind of a competitor. Um, actually, one of my clients, she came to me to help her with bestseller and she banned her, that client from her group. When I when I work with her, so that sort of thing is kind of a bit bizarre. So I don't really would I would never let her have this software. Put it that way. So <laughs> right, well, um, show us show us show us how easy it is to add a, a yeah. campaign. So what I'm going to do just before that, I'm just going to pop in and have a All look right. at a, a campaign we've already run. I just want to find one. Actually, I'll go back. I just want to find one because it's hard to show you the net result of what will happen because it's not live. So let's have a look at this one here. 
Um, so we ran this category campaign. She got 44 hot new releases, 29 bestsellers. Wow. Not a bad result, right? Fantastic. Scroll down the page so they can see a little so bit. 73 achievements, we call them. And each of those achievements is recorded. So she got this achievement at this time with this BSR, which is pretty good. Um, and so basically all the different achievements are recorded as you go through, so they'll pop up. Now, this is not instant, right? This takes like an hour or two to show up sometimes. So don't panic if it's not showing up the moment that you've done it. Sometimes, some people have accused me, say, oh, it's in the future. Sometimes I get this before it actually happens on the website. I said, yeah, that's because of the API. So it's kind of random. Sometimes it's before, sometimes it's after, but patience. Um, so we, we smashed out the categories, we did pretty well. She's still sitting high in these, these categories, the 86,000, not 79,000. She's still ranking in those categories at the moment. So, you know, it's not a bad little thing for the future. And then we did the UK and then we did, and we happened to jag some um, German categories. I said German's sort of random. Uh, Canada was fun with Canada. Um, AU for Australia. So basically it's not a bad result. And then we've got a bunch of screenshots. So yep. here we've got the American click, screenshots. Click there so they can see how this plays yeah, so out. Let's have a look. Um, this doesn't always work for us, but sometimes we'll put the top screenshot at the top. But if we want to scroll around a bit, actually, that's all right. That one. Well, and they're all time signatured, and you can see from the launch report when the number one was hit. Yeah. So you can always find it. You can always yeah, find. You can always it. find what what happened. So it's a good. It's basically a, a an hour by hour um, progress report, right? Yeah. So if you have a look, it's a complete screenshot, the entire thing right down to the bottom. So it's tough to do manually, by the way. Um, and so, but she's got one, 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 right? Here's the BSR. So you've really got the data. So if you don't, if for some reason the API misses it, you could always go to the screenshots and, re and, and recreate what you're looking for. Yeah. So it's always a backup. In that we actually, we create a launch report for our clients and we use these, some, uh, we sample these screenshots mm -hmm. for that mm -hmm. launch report. Now, when you, you can hit download all and you can grab them all, right? And they'll put a nice little zip file so you don't have to sit here one at a time. But it's nice to kind of hover around and have a little look at the how this whole thing ran. Yeah. So you can see beautiful. the numbers and the rankings. So it's a bit of fun. All right. So that happens on every country and we take screenshots. So we've taken a lot of screenshots, like 130 screenshots. So that's a lot of screenshots too. Yeah, and that so probably happened within a four, within a forty eight hour launch, correct? Yeah, yeah, usually a forty eight hour launch. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to come here and I'm going to add a little um, launch that we're doing soon, um, which is a little client that took her. Uh, I think she was originally a member of PNP. Uh, it's taken her something like four years to write this book, and it's about ten thousand words, but she got there. <laughs> it's the main thing she got there, right? So we're just going to take this the ASA in here. Which is what we need. Make sure you get that right. By the way, and that's all you need. That's, that's what's you amazing need. to do to do this. Yeah. So he's added. He's clicked to add a campaign. He's going to go ahead and just paste in the ASIN. And, and this then, here bit here is the important bit. I'm going to probably get Peter changes slightly. Pop up and ask as a question, so that you actually are prompted to, to take right. something some action. But if you're part of the VIP membership, this will be an option. Do you want to include Facebook data? Well, any of them will be included in. Correct. What will happen is it will know based on your level, whether you can, um, whether you actually get alerts and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and if you don't want a notification to go into the book publishers network group, just unclick that. Yeah. Um, and like, I don't post all of our launches into the group. I want to save the, uh, mm. save the um, good faith and all of your efforts on launches yeah. where I think they really need your help, need uh, your help or exactly. suspect they might. So yeah. that's how you it depends on the launch. So, so pay attention at that point. So I'll just need to add here. And let's hope it works because Amazon uh, had a bit of a problem with this book yesterday. Um, no, no, no. Yep, nice. If you see a picture of the, the cover up there, you're doing well. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bit of category research. And this book's kind of about leadership, really. Um, and so I'm just going to do a little random search of leadership. And we're going to have a little look down here. Uh, now, what it just did is it just went and looked at every category in Amazon that has leadership in it. Yep. Um, in the keyword and pulled it and listed it for you along with the number one book in that category and its BSR. Um, now, John search, he limited the search to show you only the results where the BSR is 2000 or higher. Um, but he can change that. Okay. In fact, I usually just do it at zero or one. So that I see all the categories in case there are some, you know, tough ones I want to go head to head on. Um, 
So like this is nice, 20,000. So what you're doing here is, I look at this 10 category things as backups, right? So just get some really high BSRs that you can get, so like 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. Get some high BSRs as a safety net. If something drastically goes wrong here and you get launched over the top of, then you want those backup proofs. And that's the really good thing about the 10. You can have like seven or eight good ones and three real backup ones that you want to make sure. So, I mean, these are pretty good BSRs, leadership. Um, so I picked about four, I think, there at the moment. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to... Um, Self-help is always a tough one, but let's just see. I don't get anything. And keep in that. mind as you're typing these, sometimes you've got to be pay attention to syntax. As yeah, exactly. So try not to be too help, specific. Or... Like if you... If you actually put in a really deep category, you don't get nothing. So I said nothing, and I mean self-help is Well, but it could also be because your BSR is set at 2,000. Well, yes, exactly. And that's why I say, like, if you get no categories, you go, well, I was not going to categories. Okay. No, because your BSR is too deep. We're protecting you from yourself, basically. <laughs> right. uh, here we go. Nice. My little one. I like this one. Always Knowledge like capital. That's Knowledge capital. nice. I don't, right. I don't know that one. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's one of your little aces in the hole, huh? So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do them all, but UK is fun. Like UK is the worst one for category research because they've got very limited categories in comparison. Yeah, um, and their categories are quite um, Well, and keep in mind that the 2000 BSR that we might use as a floor in the US would be different abroad. That's another reason I usually set the BSR. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can be. One. I'm getting management ones. Okay, now, and when he clicks select, by the way, what oh, he's project doing- Project management's always good fun too. So no the, sy the system's capturing and logging these categories so that we can choose to use them for our launch. Um, so document management, that's quickly, a little backup on there, see? Document management's always good fun. All right, so let's just, um, so we, I could probably finish this in about five minutes more, maybe go through and do the categories. So what I've now done though, is it's written out two emails for me, right? And I can hit send emails to John and it'll actually send me the emails and I can just copy and paste them. Or I can just sit here with Amazon and go, okay, great. That's my headline to send it off. We say, go to Amazon, click here, copy and paste the subject line and text and submit the request to Amazon. So copy this out. And then down here, what we've done is neatly written out this email. It's quite nice. It says, please add these categories. Yeah. Thanks for your help. And puts the author's name in there for you as well. So that's quite, um, obviously it's coming from the author, right? Um, and so we did the one for US and the one for UK, right? Now that's a big time saving in itself because just sitting there it's trying huge. to- huge. Just, uh, I mean, the re category research, the emails, all that, it's huge. Yeah. So then we finish up and um, what I'm probably gonna do here is this is it's going to launch. The book's pretty much finished, ready to go. So I might, um, I might launch this next Wednesday or 13th. Don't take Wednesday, I need it. Okay, 14th we'll have. So I can see here that there's a book on the 14th. Um, I might make it 15th. Hey, I need, the four, I need the 14th too. All right, well, all right then, 15th. All right. So there's nothing happened on the 15th. So, okay, and I'm going to extend the campaign 48 hours because it's an international book launch. So if it's a USA book launch, you should probably get away with one day. But if it's an international one, they take time. UK can take hours and hours to come online. So you just got to watch that. So I'm going to save that. And this is where you always hold your breath. There's some little issue here, but it's, that's just lying to you because it is working. Um, and now we're going to have a little look at the book, right? So not much going on, right? Um, here's my US categories. It says pending. The reason it says pending is that they have, we haven't even sent this to Amazon yet. So Amazon doesn't even know about it. So, but it's automatically put us in these. It always does this. I think it's Amazon's joke. They put you in the occult. Oh my Every gosh. <laughs> what the time, heck? put you in the occult. Somebody has a band, maybe they feel like they need more categories and uh, more books in that category. I don't know. It's a bizarre okay. category. We usually try to get this off, right? Uh, you wouldn't know this, right, normally. And if they might actually, you know, they might actually star in this category because it's a very low scoring category. You know, and it looks bizarre in a screenshot, I've got to tell you. Right? you no, know, that's, I, I, that's, in it, that's in it super important because when your book comes out and you've got a client who's saying, look, I'm number one in occult spiritual what the heck is that everett what have you done to me <laughs> why, how why am i there and and then other people may ask them about it yeah that's a, that's a pretty awkward uh conversation, conversation. yeah so yeah uh, that so where's the go with inside amazon please take us off this category um because i want it anyway all right yeah. 
Yeah. And they put you in a book category as well. There's not much we can do about them. We can't research book categories at the moment because it's just too hard. Um, but what will happen here is, and just pay attention down the bottom, it says your campaign is waiting, which means on your book, your means your book and its categories are synced with Amazon every once a day. Campaigns will be synced every hour when the campaign is running. So uh, generally speaking, you should um, be at least a day out before you're doing this stuff. I don't know people do this last minute. There are workarounds for us to do that. If you, if you are desperate, probably correct, contact support and ask us about it. Um, there are workarounds to be able to get this data faster if you're in a desperate situation, but we don't recommend, it can be tricky if you do this without realizing what you're doing, because what can happen is you can launch the book into the group by mistake, right? So you've got to be careful that you don't, you don't do this, you know, and start mucking around. I mean, if you pick the date, pick the date properly and yeah. So at any point you can come back and you search category, submit category. So we can come back to campaign settings and say, Oh, can hang on a minute. Um, ever just called me and now said, I don't want you to do it on the 15th. Can you do it on the 16th? Well, then we can just change the date and move it over. Um, but at least you can see the big picture that's going on. So this is a bit of a history of what's happened. Now we've got some book launches coming up. Um, and there's your campaign option. Now, if for some reason you decide that, Hey, I don't want this to go out, then you can always change it to a single campaign which basically means it'll do it for you. So you can run a campaign behind the scenes, um, but nothing will happen. No emails will go out, no alerts will go out, nothing will no happen. Alert, no alerts to the group, no, no the secret uh, campaign, if you like. If you sign one. Mm. Great. So that's what, that's what we would do if we wanted to use the tool, but not leverage the VPN network. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Right. And there's lots of reasons for that. And sometimes it's just to run a campaign over something, see how things work, right? How it's going. Yeah. So nice. my recommendation here for you is to go in and put your own book in here that you've done. Most people have written their own books, particularly if they're publishing. They've obviously got a couple. I've got five or something. Um, put your own book in here. Make sure it's a single campaign. Don't launch it in the group. Do some category research and have a look and see what your book's like now. And then at the same time, what's happened then, you've actually put your book in the system. So you can actually see what's going on. So I've put a lot of books in my little books. There's a little option called my books where you can just add a book in there. It doesn't do anything much, but it does pull up the data. So you can share that out and stuff like that. So sometimes you just do your own book, have a look at it, see what, what's going on. And maybe you can tune up the categories a bit, right? Um, because a lot of people, when they did the launches way back, only had the option to have like three categories. And then they had options to have more categories and it's a bit of a mess. You might have five, you could have 10, who knows? Go and find out and add them all up. Can't hurt and you'll get listed in that database. Yeah. Now, one last thing. What we've done now is we've created this little book selling page for you. So we click on this link here. There's the public link, right? See the book buy button? So if we click on any of these buttons, it will actually just automatically give you that buy link. So if we click on buy now for Australia, it's going to take you off to the Australian buy and you can buy that book. We've got a set of twelve dollars a month because we don't want anybody buying it. Um, and at the same time, going back here, at the same time, if there's any reviews, it's going to show reviews up as well. Now, if you're logged in, if you're actually the, the owner of this, it actually can scroll down. You can see what's going on as well. It's a little summary down the bottom. Right. Here. So this is not what someone who isn't logged in will see. No, they won't see. They'll that. just see the the actual sales page. So for your, your eyes only. So then you can actually see what's going on and say, "Well, look out! I'm in the." Cult at the moment, better get out of there. <laughs> right. Um, and, and the bookstore has actually a lot of other books in it. So every book that we've ever launched, and some, um, like he's appeared twice. Some you haven't. <laughs> yeah. But now, you know, we've, we've got his book in the database, right? So everybody's book that we've ever launched, and we've done a lot. There's, there is literally over a thousand books here. I think it's 1,300 books. That's terrific. Book, right. Um, so in some respects, that's quite nifty because you've got a, a nice history of what happened. So, um, John, and so to get those links, yep. just so you know, if you're here, just simply choose your links here. So you've got your ex Evolve Preneur Club link or your Earth Author, Author Experts link. You click on that link, it copies the link to your memory. So you don't even Excellent. have to remember it. That's wonderful. And then, then away you go, go and paste that link wherever you want to go. That's terrific, John.